Good morning, Hobart High School. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Hello, today is October 2nd, 2018, and welcome to HTV News. I'm Brandon Lamb. And I'm Matthew Letterman. Here's what's going on around HHS. The end of the grading period is right around the corner, students. The end of the first grading period is October 12th, so check up with your teachers or in Canvas for any missing assignments. Congratulations to our Hobart Band members for placing an IBA's All-Region Band and IBA's All-District Band. Students, are you interested in saving money effectively? The Bricky Credit Union began last week. With this, you are given the chance to create an account and learn how to be more responsible with your money. Every week on Tuesdays and Thursdays, you can create your own account for only $1. Now over to Walter and Jacob for news on clubs and sports. Thank you, Brandon. We would like to congratulate the Athletes of the Month, Addison Metz, Ali Lavelle, Sal Val, and Tyler Davis. We would also like to congratulate the boys bowling team for placing in second place and the girls team for placing third in the 2018 NWI preseason Bowlerama. The Bricketts dance team will be holding two call-out meetings today and tomorrow for anyone interested in joining in room 1112. Swimming and diving will hold a call-out meeting today in the hospitality room for anyone interested. Atten attention, site club members, there will be a meeting today, this Thursday, in Mr. Ramos' room, 2109. Environmental Club will be holding another meeting next Monday, October 8th, in Ms. Murdon's room. Now over to Alyssa and Elena for what's happening, HHS. Good morning, I'm Alyssa Hazard. And I'm Elena Matthews. And you're watching the Region Updates. There's a lot of construction happening downtown Hobart. People who drive to school make sure to pay attention de to detours and maybe leave a few minutes earlier than usual. There's a fall craft festival held in the Griffith. Held in Griffith. The art fair is located on Pine and Broad Street. Come and shop and buy some festival crafts for your home. There is a Fall Family Fun Puppy Adoption event October 21st that is held in Crown Point on 3011 West 93rd Avenue from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. They will have a variety of half-priced animals. Come by and adopt a furry friend. It was finally beginning to feel like fall until I saw the temperatures for this week. Temperatures will get to a high of 84 and a low of 61. Students, make sure you're dressing appropriately for this constant changing weather. That seems to be all from Elena and I. Now back to Math Matthew and Brandon for additional announcements. Thanks, Alyssa and Elena. Within the next few weeks, more colleges and programs will be available to chat to at lunch. These include Ball State University, Purdue University, and Manchester University. Attention all seniors. There will be a financial aid next night, next Tuesday, in the Great Hall. They will talk about the FAFSA and cover the basics of financial aid. Students, Hobart University t-shirts are now available for purchase. Stop to see Ms. Nelson to check out all the options. Remember students, HHS is offering free tutoring every Monday and Wednesday after school until 4 p.m. So if you need extra help in English or math, stop at the Media Center to sign up. You may also sign up in the Media Center for bus service if needed after tutoring. Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hobart High School Radio and TV channel. And, and have, have a fantastic, fantastic day, everyone. everyone.